do I even have this right? <laughs> it's been such a long time since I've uh, recorded with the camera. Um, but hello! Hi! Uh, I am uh, Ian of Winter Dust Stuff. You probably already know that because you're subbed, or maybe the YouTube algorithm randomly recommended you this video, which I have no idea why it would. But anyway, um, I am making this video because uh, today, the day that I'm uploading this, not the day that I'm recording this, we have officially hit a year of uploads. I kind of wanted to make this video to touch on my personal feelings regarding it, how I feel the channel has grown, how I feel I have grown since the channel's inception. I really wanted to start kind of at the beginning of where this channel started, and I want to give you guys a little bit of a, a, a personal take about exactly where I was back then. I think back when I started this channel, I was in a very weird place in my life. I was in a place where uh, emotionally and physically I didn't exactly feel the safest, where my future uh, as a person was very unsure of itself. And as you guys have seen throughout the months, by the multiple changing backgrounds, I'm not exactly sure about that still. Now more than ever, I have a more clear and concise vision of what that is going to be going forward. And I think that is just because of the people who have come to this channel and the people surrounding me out there uh, that are not behind this camera. I kind of want to just talk about things because I feel it's really important, especially nowadays, uh, to just reflect on everything. And I feel like making a video is just a good way to do that. Since I started this channel, uh, I have moved... Let me... Technically five times, uh, m like moved locations, uh, living situations, five times past 12 months of my life, five times I have s shifted living situations. And I will tell you guys uh, from a personal perspective, that's not the easiest thing for me to do. It hasn't been exactly the, the softest of roads, the most straight of roads. It has been a very tumultuous time, but I think the one constant throughout that entire thing was this channel. I was consistently making videos, making things that I liked to do. I was making music over on Reminiscent Industries, and it got me thinking, like, this is a constant that I have. This is, this is something that I've worked towards. This is something that I've built, uh, not only for myself, but people in my community. And that's another thing that I want to touch on. It's what my community as the winter ecosystem represents. And I feel that that is something that has gone very uh, not talked about, that has not been addressed. What I think the winter ecosystem is is the misfits. We are, as a community, we are people who have been cast out by greater communities, who have been told that we're worth nothing to a lot of other people. And every single person who's in my community has felt some sort of public alienation including myself, uh, from multiple areas. The A Twitter's probably gonna go wild when I post this. But I'm, I'm gonna be completely honest and say I feel like that's what we are. We're a group of people that really don't have anywhere else to belong. So where else do we belong but each other? Maybe that's why this video is being recommended to you. Hell, I don't know. Um, maybe you want to stop by. Join the Discord if you haven't already done that yet. I'll leave it in the description or uh, somewhere right over here. But honestly, this community would not be the same without that sort of energy because that's another thing that's really helped this channel grow. And it's the fact that none of us come from the same place. Every single person in my community, in the winter ecosystem, has come from either 
a very similar community or a completely different community we're we're all very much in the indie scene we you know there's there's a lot of talk of like fnaf and uh bendy and even sometimes poppy playtime or even fucking garden of band band for all i fucking know but there are also some of us where we come from different genres of music such as me with my metalcore experience there's people who come from uh like prog metal uh there's a couple people who do like like indie pop music there's just straight metal people there's people that come from so many wide different communities who have all settled in this place and i can't help but think that that's just so fucking cool the sheer fact that we're able to build a community uh together and make it succinct and somewhat controlled even though it's in chaos because we're all different normally you get communities that don't work because they're different that only work because they're connected by succinct things that are connected because there are things that are set in stone that everybody knows about but no in this community in the winter ecosystem nobody is the same Nobody has come from the same walks of life or same values or morals or what have you other than the fact that we really just don't want drama and we want to be left alone most of the time. That's all we really are. We're just people who have been kind of pushed to the side by others and that we just want to kind of make a life for ourselves. So what do we do? We come to together to make this bullshit and... I am just one of the people that is in this community. I'm I'm kind of the face of it, but let me tell you that there are so many people in this community who deserve as much love and support more than what I can give them. And I say it's a damn shame that bigger communities have turned these people away because most of, if not all, of the people in my community in the winter ecosystem are some of the most kind-hearted, open-minded individuals that I've ever met and I'm blessed to have every single one of them in my community and that is the honest truth I would not be here without some of the people in my community I wouldn't be here I wouldn't be doing what I do I would have shut down a while ago and just abandoned this whole thing but no there are people who have told me through thick and thin to just keep going it'll get better and honestly quite honestly it really has it has gotten better throughout roughly the past 12 months i started this community i started winter does stuff as something that i could do in my spare time i never wanted it to advance above reminiscent industries it still hasn't done that in terms of subscribership and viewership or things like that but i think it has in one way and one way alone the amount of people that are connected to it. This channel has reached heights in terms of reaching out across YouTube and other platforms like, you know, Discord or, or even Twitter stuff that I've posted more than anything else I've ever created. And that's huge. That's honestly really huge. And we're just getting started. We're we're a year in. We are at nearly 120 subscribers from the point of filming this. And apparently the Mandela Catalog community really likes me because my most viewed video is the fucking overthrow reaction uh, from Longest Solo Ever. I actually want to talk about this for a second because that reaction is weird for me to... to, to Personally acknowledge that that is my most viewed video is weird because um, one of the admins of Winter Does Stuff, Memory Nightmare is her name, and she's uh, she's an avid supporter of the channel, and I bless her fucking heart for staying with me all this time. She is actually the one who suggested I do that reaction. It originally wasn't one that I wanted to do. I had fallen out of, like, Analog Horror and Mandela Catalog and Alex Kister and even Longa Solo Ever stuff for the longest time, but... When that reaction got uploaded, I swear to God, it got over 150 views in a day, which is the biggest this channel has ever gotten. And now, if 
I'm pretty sure it's nearly at 1.2 thousand views in the span of a few months. That's fucking insane. That's crazy. And I never would have expected a reaction like that. One that ultimately really didn't matter to me that much. But I'll be honest, you want to know the reason it got there? It's because of my community. It's because there was someone in my community who thought, hmm, maybe, maybe if this goes out, this can do something. And I'll be honest in saying, I've never made a choice that has impacted my channel better. I've never made a choice that has impacted this community better. We've gotten people in the Discord server from that video, from that reaction. We've gotten subs from that reaction. We've got people commenting on that reaction. And we've got attention because of it. There's people who have even DM'd me on Twitter. Um, <clears throat> or X, but I don't really call it that because fuck Elon. There are people even messaging me on there because it's like people want me to react to things or tell them what I think about things. And it's just, it's mind-blowing to see how far this community has come from the humble beginnings of reacting to the history of the entire world and the uh, We Stand in Line from Iris and Bohemian Rhapsody from Famous Last Words to grand album reactions like Heart of an Artist Resurrection when that drops, uh, Mark Hudson's Starbound Stories, Take Me Back to Eden from Sleep Token. I would have never done those reactions if it weren't for the blessed people in this community, the people who have made it possible. And I just, I don't know how to express my gratitude further. It's such an amazing thing to have a community like this. It's such a proud thing that I have attached to me. I am so incredibly indebted to every single person who subscribes to this channel. And I just, I can't thank you all enough for doing it because you've made something that originally wasn't supposed to be much into something that is going to be much greater in the future. And that's so heartwarming. It's so amazing to see a small community of people, small by margins of YouTube leadership, but in my opinion, I look at the 120 thereabout subscribers that I have and then put them in one room. And then I think to myself, wow, that's a lot of fucking people who are passionate and inspired and open-minded and kind and compassionate and just really, really amazing people. That's what I do when I look at this community. I don't think I only have 120 some odd subscribers. No. I have 120 people following me every step of the way. And that's something I can get behind. That's something that I can be monumentally fucking proud of. And I don't simply mean, you know, following me just for the sake of following me. I'm gonna be honest, the most personal project I have on this channel, The Fall, my original series that I've been doing for a long time, I'm hoping to get more stuff about that up in 2024, is the most viewed playlist on this channel with nearly 200 views across its playlist. That's insane. That's insanity. That's the... It's more attention than I ever thought The Fall would have. And now, because it's gotten that much attention, I'm working with an animation team. I can't say much about it yet, but I'm working with big-name voice actors, big-name animators, big-name musicians to create an animated series fully based off of this concept that I made of all things when I was 10 fucking years old. And it's so, so goddamn inspiring to see everything play out the way that it has you know with the the album reactions the mashup months that have been happening uh we just got mashup month to uh filmed by the time this goes out and reactions are going to start going out in december and that's just insane I've built such a strong community just because I was bored, because I wasn't sure that I was going to make it to the next day, that I wasn't 
sure that my own mental ruts were going to kill me. And now that I've built this community, that I've built this channel, I'm never going to even think about that. Because there are so many people behind me who would say again and again, just keep going. And you know what? I will do exactly that for every single goddamn one of them. I know that this video has probably gone on long enough, probably like 20 minutes or some kind of shit like that, but I just wanted to make this video to thank every single one of the hundred and some odd people. We could get like 10 subs in two days. What am I saying? Like, the, the hundred some odd people who have subscribed to this channel, who have stayed with me through the reactions, the ridiculous amounts of reactions, the mega reactions, the gameplays, the one takes, the streams, everything in between. I just want to say thank you to you all. 2023 has been not exactly the most blessed year for me, but I can definitely say that from here on out, things are going to get better for me. And I hope that that reflects in the material that I'm producing on here, along with on Reminiscent Industries. But I just wanted to say thank you for the hundred some odd people that have been here for a damn good year. And I hope we can do more stuff in 2024. Speaking of 2024, announcement time! <laughs> so, for the rest of this year, we have uh, December's Mashup Month 2, and those will be quarterly going March, June, or March, July. Fuck. We will have those quarterly uh, going out every year. Um, a mashup month every year, you know, 10 different mashup albums or maybe like 8 to 10 different mashup albums going out, uh, reactions for the community to see, supporting the mash pit community and those surrounding it. We will be continuing progress on the Fall and the Forge Fellwork Omniverse very soon. There are going to be audio logs uh, for my series, The Grayscape, which will be coming in 2024, along with the remainder of the Rise with Negativity series featuring some extra voices that you guys have never heard on this channel before, and Rise with Negativity Chapter 5, thus closing the book on that series. I also hope to get pre-negative cognition number two done by next year as well, along with some other collaborations involving specific, you know, channel lore, big things that I plan to do in the future. Future. And, of course, reactions will go out like normal. Gameplay stuff will go out like normal. We are just finishing the uh, Five Nights at Fuckboys franchise, and we are going to be swiftly moving on to Deltarune Chapter 2. And after that, we're going to play a whole assortment of different games. Uh, we're going to be revisiting the FNAF franchise, Five Nights at Freddy's. We're going to revisit the first five games of that series, I believe. Maybe even the sixth one, if I can get around to that. And then we're just going to be playing some just random stuff. We have uh, the game by Temi Chang, uh, the helper of Toby Fox in his development of his Undertale and Deltarune series. We're going to be doing uh, an Omori series. I've never played that game, but it sounds fucking amazing. I've heard nothing but good things about it other than that it's a slow burn. But hey, slow burns are for me. I'm a really patient person most of the time. <laughs> And we're just going to be doing a lot of unique stuff as well. Uh, there are certain videos that I plan to make uh, during 2024 that are just kind of off the wall and crazy. January is going to be an insane month with a bunch of album reactions every Monday and Friday. It's, it's just going to be insane. And it's all thanks to the people who have supported me through it. You guys. And I'll say it again. There is so much to be thankful for in this community. I would not personally be here without you guys. I would not personally be sitting down in front of this camera recording this video, either whether it be me being six feet under because I just couldn't take stress and I couldn't take anxiety and shit like that, or I wouldn't be in front of this camera because I just quit. But you guys have inspired me to keep going on, and I thank you for that so much. So, thank you for the last 12 months. And I will see you, as you all know, in due time. Thank you for a fucking great year.